Omaju Wankele and Alliance supporters are today having a mass protest against President William Ruto's government. The mass action, which has been called by opposition leader Rila Odinga, is meant to pressure Kenyan Kwanza government to address the hiking prices of commodities and deteriorating state of economy in Kenya. Current situation at Busy Tika Superhighway towards Nairobi CBD gears up. Hello and welcome to Kenyan Secrets. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be able to watch our uploaded videos. The busy Tika Superhighway, which connects Nairobi CBD and its environs, are perceived to be rela strongholds, remain clear with no heavy traffic as its always weakness. Contrary to Kenya's expectation that the always busy roads could either be full of protesters or vehicles heading to CBD remain super clear. Other areas like the Ngon roads remain impassable with police and protesters engaging chasing battles as they try to access the CBD. Other roads is also said to be full of protesters. Specifically, more avenue to Uhuru's Highway all the way University Way roundabout business are said to be shut down with the fear of vandalization of their businesses. Kenyan politics has been much hotter and tricky, more so after the mass action was launched by Wheeler on Zinga. Today, from the latest report, the police officers in Kibra were forced to run for their safety after rowdy youths stoned their cars today. Police forced to run for their safety as rowdy youths does this in Kibra. It is now high time the Kenyan people ensure that they maintain peace and unity throughout the country so as to avoid the incidences of violence that may arise in the country as tension continues to intensify. The Azimo La Omajowan Kenyan Coalition Party leader, Honorable Wheeler Ozinga, has been much more powerful in the country and determined to fight for the ordinary Kenyans when it comes to time of hardship. Let Kenyan youth to be in the forefront to champion for peace and keep off from being used by politicians to cause violence in the country as tension worsens between the government and the opposition. Opening now at DCI headquarters as Villa Alice arrive, currently issuing state after arrest. As Kenyans await the arrival of the Orange Democratic Movement leader Rila Odinga and his allies for the mass action, a section of legislators drawn from the original Kraken movement are currently at the Directorate of Criminal Investigation headquarters. These follow the arrest of several members of parliament and senators allied to the Azimo coalition who were demonstrating at the Kenyatta International Convention of Centre today where police were called in to bring back normalcy. The team at the Detectorate of Criminal Investigation is keen on meeting the DCI boss to ensure and guarantee them security during the demonstration, saying that demonstrations are enshrined in the Constitution and therefore security should be guaranteed. The demonstrations are continuing in different parts of the country, with the several leaders already behind bars for participating in an illegal demonstration that was called upon by the old Democratic Movement leader. Follow for more updates. Hope you enjoyed the video and please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be able to watch our uploaded videos and have a blessed day.